I fell in love with the character. And we were very lucky to get Rosa Salazar to play her. And I think she just she just comes off the screen. She's she's somebody that, whose journey you want to go on. And and when I when I acquired the material, my daughter at the time was seven or eight, I want to say. And I was looking ahead, and she was you know she was my, my eldest. And I was looking ahead to what's it going to be like to raise a a, a teenager, a, a, a young girl coming into womanhood, and in this world you know, which is stacked against women. And I wanted to do something that was about female empowerment, that was about gaining confidence and gaining strength and, and finding your place in the world. And that's what the film's about, ultimately. Yeah, I mean, you've dealt with these themes before with Man and Machine, obviously with the Terminator oh, yeah, series yeah, it's and got, It's else. got all that bit too, you know, it's got the tech. Yeah. Sure. Is it is it is it is it nice to explore what it could be like? Obviously, you've done it with Terminator, which was kind of present day. This is set well. This is the, the this is the opposite of Terminator. And, and Terminator had a chip for a brain and an organic outer skin. She's got a synthetic body and an organic human mind, and therefore heart. As you know, I don't mean literally her heart, but but her spirit is absolutely human. And how does that manifest? What does about? it mean to be human Sorry, in a in a future where you can change your body any way you want? What was it about, uh, what made Robert perfect for this? Because he's done some big movies in the past, but he was saying the, the lure of you, but also the material was, was too good to turn out. Yeah, I think it was the material. I think it was an opportunity for us to work together. We tried several times to get something going. And for me, it was just being ready to turn it over to someone. But I wasn't searching for a director and he was on a list. It was literally him asking me about and, and confronting me and saying, you're going to be working on these Avatar movies for a while. What are you doing with Alita? You know? And I, it went through my head in a split second. I've got to turn it over. And if I'm going to turn it over, why not turn it over to somebody who's been my friend for more than 20 years that I admire, who's an innovator, who's a rebel, who's got such a strong creative personality? It seemed perfect. And how's Terminator gone? You finished filming now? It's, ready get, to go? it's getting there. We're in post. I haven't seen the cut yet. Tim. Tim's holding it close, but he'll show it to me in a few weeks. I'll let you know then. Might see a trailer soon? Hopefully. Well, for me personally, it was a chance to make something at the scale of a Jim Cameron movie. Um, but I was shocked that the story was just so affecting. I mean, when I first saw he was going to make it, it was like, okay, that makes sense for him. Science fiction, futuristic, cyborg girl. That's kind of the stuff that he does. But then uh, I read the script, and it was like, oh, my gosh, this goes way beyond that. So relatable, great characters, human truth. Anybody in the world can watch it. doesn't matter if they know manga or not. And it's just a, a totally elevated movie that feels like his other films that just travel the world. So I, th I thought that would be a great challenge to go make a movie at that scale. Did, did making something like Sin City and the sequel help you with something like this? Or was this kind of a very unique challenge and it was, it was very different for you as a filmmaker to, you, you know? Oh yeah, all the, all the stuff I did really helped. I mean, even Jim said, you know, you've done pretty much everything that we're going to do in this movie in some way before. It's, it's more a matter of scale than technique. You know, this is just a bigger scale than you ever worked at. Boy, was he right. But uh, it really helped to have done so many of those projects and to have done so many of those myself. So even, even working with the great crew that I had, it helped that I knew the DP job and the editing job and the scoring job. You can get the bet more out of these really masters when you work with them. You can relate to them better. And I just ask you work about uh, Jim. I mean, he's not made too many movies. When he does, they're big, you know, two of the biggest movies of all time. I mean, if you as a filmmaker, what, what did you learn off of him that you can take forward in your, your own career? You know, the analytical side of his brain is incredible. Now, he's not just, I'm very whimsical and sort of like, woo, I have an idea, I'll go this way, woo, I'll go that way. He's very analytical as well. I like that about him. He can figure out how to make a story like this even travel the world by analyzing what works what doesn't what's important what's not you know i tend to be more just sort of like go on instinct but i learned it from him how to how to step back a little bit and be more of an architect things a little bit more i thought she was um she had a an interesting journey you know she's she's uh an antagonist in the beginning of the film um, but you kind of understand where it's coming from she's kind of She's buried this maternal grief, um, and then the time that she spends with Alita kind of brings it to the surface and um, and changes her. Um, and I think it's beautiful. I, I like the way Alita changes the world around her, you know, in sort of smaller and 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 also quite large, impactful ways. You've done some amazing projects. You go from one big one to another one. You're working with, with Mr. TC, Tom Cruise on yeah. Top Gun. That's pretty exciting. And it's then great. hopefully might see you in Spider-Man or hear you in Spider-Man again, possibly. But how has it been 
doing these big movies as well as some of the smaller movies that it's you've done? It's fun. I'm having a great time. You know, I loved working on this. I loved, I loved seeing it. I saw it a couple of days ago for the first time. I thought it was just phenomenal. I thought they did such a good job with it. Um, and Top Gun's been, been a lot of fun. We're not done. I've got another week or so to do on that. So. Well, believe it or not, there wasn't that much screen screen. Like, we had a, a full set that was built in the back of Robert's uh, back lot. And it was, you know, so immersive, so intricate. Uh, and that was what was, you know, just so amazing to be a part of. I can imagine the lure of working with Robert Rodriguez is something, but then when you add James Cameron to the mix, I mean, that's pretty incredible. It's like, How yeah, that it's like, it's like, it's like the dream team. It's like when, you know, it's, it's basically like the LA Lakers right now, you know what I mean? It's like the absolute dream team. Um, so to be a part of that, you know, especially being it being my first film, I, I, I couldn't have asked for anything anything better. And I mean, you and Rosa have a great uh, kind of relationship on on screen. Yeah. I mean, that must have been great to play, considering that she's obviously got all the motion capture, but yeah. you, do, you do feel the human emotion. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, 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 we had an incredible time, five months of getting to know each other and, uh, you know, making some great, great uh, material, I hope. Yeah, I like this, the project itself. I like the story. Um, I thought Alita was a really cool hero. Um, and I thought Shirin was a, was a fun kind of antagonist who turns out to be something other than what you expected at the end of the day. Sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a sci-fi, you know, so I think it's not trying to necessarily be yeah, I thought it was, uh, I thought that Alita was an amazing character, inspiring hero at the center of the movie. I love that, you know, she was this, you know, young cyborg girl taking taking on injustice that she saw. Quite timely themes um, when it comes to things like people's opportunity and hope. Of what? Um, do you think the film addresses timely themes of like opportunity and hope? Um, yes, I do. I do. I think, you know, um, it does. You know, there there's a city that's up above and then there's the, and then that's unattainable, and then there are all the people below who are providing the entertainment for those few, and all the industry, and who are oppressed, and, and um, so I think it's absolutely, uh, there's, there's certainly uh, relevance in that. We are so glad that we finally get to share Alita with the world, and we are so proud of Rosa Salazar, and Robert Rodriguez and Richie Bainham and our, our incredible team that realized this at, at a level that we could not have imagined when we started the process. I mean, you've, 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 you've broken barriers before in terms of filmmakers, you know, Titanic and now onto Avatar. What was, what was it about this one that made it special? And what did you think you could bring, new, what new you thought you could bring to the cinema? You know, when we did Avatar, um, we were in a fantasy world and we didn't need to be photo real. We needed to be photographic. Alita is earthbound, playing next to Christoph Waltz, Mahershala Ali, Jennifer Connelly, Ed Skrine. She needs to be photoreal, and that's a whole new level. Just very quickly, I just wanted to ask you about Avatar. How's it all going? Uh, are you ready? Are you are you in the midst of it, or are you nearly there? We, we're in the midst of Avatar, and uh, Jim wrote a script that will deliver on what people want. How excited were you that two of the biggest Hollywood directors were taking on the, the project? <laughs> Yes, I'm excited. It's like a dream. <laughs> what was it like when you saw it on the big screen for the first time? I was 100% moved. And is, is he hoping that there's going to be more more movies to come? Yes, I hope so. I really hope so. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!